गुड आफ्टरनून सर गुड आफ्टरनून आइए बैठिए गुड टू सी यू एन पर्सन है यू हैव डिसाइडेड टू कम एंड सी अस इन पर्सन सर ओके सो यू आर अ एमबीबीएस डॉक्टर यस सर आर यू प्रैक्टिसिंग समवेयर नो सर आई जस्ट कंप्लीटेड माय इंटर्नशिप एमबीबीएस लास्ट मंथ और जस्ट कंप्लीटेड इज इट यस अच्छा and what is your specialization uh, sir in mbbs we do all the 29 subjects okay and uh, i have to specialize in post graduation in post graduation yes sir. okay chaliye good and uh, the ips is your first preference right yes sir chaliye okay so doctor sir why do you prefer ips sir there are three prime reasons for it sir i have been and i am very passionate about police and policing as a service sir so secondly my maternal uncle has been a source of inspiration he has been an ips officer in punjab so thirdly i believe uh, police services provides tremendous challenges and also opportunities to work in specialized fields of uh, crime prevention and law and order which i have a keen interest in sir what when did this uh, came to your mind that aptitude for policing because you had already joined medicine so since beginning uh, i had a dream to join civil services but uh, after seeing my maternal uncle as well and exploring more about policing and policing as a service sir had uh, turned my inclination uh, then why did you join medicine it says beginning this was the you would have simply be a so uh, i had i was good at science in 10th so sir i chose this path towards my final dream sir acha how can your knowledge of mbbs be helpful if you become an ips officer in discharging your responsibility as a police officer so my knowledge of forensic science and forensic jurisprudence so also my traits which i brushed up of empathy and compassion and emergency duties in uh, covid so i think uh, that would help me in discharge my duties of in police administration as well what else uh, sir uh, my innovation uh, in uh, and use of technology sir uh, emergency decision making and public dealing that i learned in what is duties. innovation So it would be solving a problem uh, innovatively with different types of solutions. What is that innovative? Uh, lead? What is that? You know, how will you define innovation? So by using uh, creative solutions in problem solving, uh, that would be very innovative for for me. All right. What is tertiary prevention? Uh, so there are three types of prevention: primary, secondary, and tertiary. So uh, tertiary, sir, uh, uh, primary would be sir right at the grassroots level. Uh, the first uh, reference uh, the exposure of uh, public that is primary sir second secondary would be sir after the primary prevention uh, the person has uh, is prone to a disease and uh, secondary so third is after the acquire of the disease he is not uh, the death of tertiary prevention after the acquirement of disease he is not prone to other not secondary disease you in discharge your policy police functions yes sir the same strategy like you treat a disease yes sir it help you treat a problem in the society Yes, sir. I think uh, crime is also a disease, and police have the uh, responsibility of treating uh, the crime as a disease. So I think by a graded response, uh, the d- disease can be cured of crime. What is an adversarial system of judicial uh, adversarial judicial system? Uh, sir, I'm not aware of it. Not aware. And what is uh, inquest? Sir, uh, inquest or police inquest is the Investigation under 174 CRPC, which we do, sir. You know medical legal cases. Yes, sir. Suppose if the pellets have been kept underneath the skin, and there is a real gunshot injury, how are you going to distinguish between both? Uh, distinguish between, sir. Between a case of. Where pellets have been kept in underneath the skin yes, by making an incision, yes, and one where there is a real gunshot injury. Sir, uh, most in gunshot injuries there are the entry wound and there is an exit wound. Sir, if no, the no, there is a gunshot, uh, it's, a, it's a pellet, gunshot injury. Yes, sir. So pellets have, you know, pierced the skin and have inside, gone inside the body. Yes, sir. And somebody, you know, they they have just uh, made a fake case yes, where they have inserted certain pellets inside the body. Yes, in the real uh, gunshot injury, the area of the incision or the injury-prone area, it would have physiological effects as well. Like there would be redness. The localized area would be swelled, redness. So this was two two years back. Yes, sir. So I believe uh, a medical legal person, uh, I think the entry wound 
इंस्पेक्शन ऑफ एंट्री वॉन्ट कैन लोगों को टू इयर्स हैव ऑलरेडी पास हाउ डू यू डिस्टिंग्विश सो दें सपोज आई गिव टू एक्स रेज व्हाट व्हाट फाइंडिंग्स विल यू फाइंड डिफरेंटली बोथ द केसेस सर द देयर कैन बी मोर लोकलाइज्ड इंजरी इफ अ पर्सन हैव क्राफ्टेड इट it would be sir a normal in season and, and there would be no injury to the uh, the closed tissue, tissues and or the bone underlying it so can you find out injury of soft tissue in the x ray sir in x ray only bones can be seen so then, but in cts so where, where where this question of soft injury now sir there are other scans for it as well ct scan no, i am telling x ray i give so sir, from x ray it is difficult to monitor what will the spread of pellets in case of a real that What the depth where they will go into different depths, different spread. Yes. But in person who is inserting pellets, we cannot do that. Yes, sir. Uh, it can be embedded in the bone and spread to different bones and tissues, sir. In a gunshot injury. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Good summer. Yes, ma'am. Declamation. Yes, ma'am. What do you mean by that? I mean, what do you do? Ma'am, uh, declamation means reciting a speech uh, to an audience on a particular oh. topic. Uh, covering all the dimensions uh, of it and concluding it uh, in the end. Any famous examples of declamations? Ma'am, I personally like uh, the style of oration of A. P. G. Kalam, yeah. and uh, I'm also Martin Luther King. His speech is very okay. famous. Uh, I have I had a dream speech. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What's your view on the COVID situation now? The pandemic. Ma'am, uh, there may be uh, as a, the virus has a tendency to mutate, so the new X E variant has come up already. The cases have, are rising in uh, Mumbai, Mumbai and Delhi, uh, Delhi as well. So I think uh, a new wave can be predicted uh, in new, in one or two months. But uh, now, as of now, India is well prepared because you know, we had our lessons in the previous waves, and our 60 to 70 percent population is being uh, has been vaccinated, and we are targeting other age groups as well. Do you think it would be? Uh less harmful this time i mean the effect less with, vicious yes ma'am with the vaccination i think the severity would be less but we need to be prepared with the social okay. distancing and other norms okay uh, tell me something about the beijing winter olympics this february okay. did we participate ma'am i think uh, there was a uh, uh, strike by uh, the some of the countries not to participate in the uh, to counter the hegemony of china in that but uh, did india participate i'm not aware if india yes there was one lone skier from kashmir no arif khan yes ma'am all right uh, which country got the maximum uh, medals uh, who won um, beijing olympics ha ah, the winter olympics oh, i'm not aware it's a guess can be from scandinavia they are all snowbound norway i think norway yes ma'am yeah you heard of the uighurs Yes, ma'am. I mean, they are in the Xinjiang region of China. Tell me a little person. about them. What is the issue over there? Who are the Uyghurs? They belong to a Muslim community, and they are uh, more prominent in the Xinjiang western region of the China. They are facing persecution and persecution, and they are in the camps. Uh, so, ma'am, there has been there are uh, there is there are news that they are in uh, discrimination by the Chinese government. and there is also the allegation that they are committing genocide genocide no? yes ma'am so there is a movement yes, ma'am or right, you heard of string of pearls yes ma'am uh, what do you understand by it it's a foreign policy by the china they are forming they are in circulating india and asia by forming various ports circling yes ma'am by forming various ports uh, especially in myanmar the colombo in uh, uh, sri lanka then in uh, pakistan and iran and right to uh, till the africa so they are encircling through the ports and economically they are providing uh, the help to these countries so what is india's response to this i mean india is engaging uh, by its foreign policy with the quad and also we reiterate a, f- a stand of free open and uh, inclusive indo pacific what else are we doing mem uh, blue dot network and sagar initiative also so we believe in security and growth of all in the region and we are engaging in the island states yes mem we are engaging them. in uh, Uh, Maldives uh, yes. in uh, Sri Lanka as well. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, what do you mean by disruptive innovation? Oh, ma'am, I'm not aware of the exact definition. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Doctor Gur Simran Singh. Yes, ma'am. I attended a seminar where a doctor said that a good oral health 
is a is a prerequisite for good general health you can keep all other organs important organs of the body healthy only if you have a good oral health how does it work he says he has uh, scrutinized more than 20 uh, 25000 uh, Uh, research papers to say that sir i believe uh, the oral cavity or the mouth buccal cavity is the starting point from where the virus can enter so i think uh, with good oral hygiene if you are uh, mouth sorry to interrupt you if yes, virus sir. or uh, bacteria sir any organism uh, any pathogen uh, can enter okay. any pathogen yes can be virus also yes sir uh, virus can uh, enter okay. the host cell yes sir uh, the bacteria virus or uh, parasite it can enter Uh, so the oral cavity with good oral hygiene uh, the person can be less vulnerable because uh, the organism can transfer right from the oral cavity to the brain as well to the lower to the stomach to the trachea so oh. i think what is the process sir uh, the in with the inhala- inhalation like in tb also the respiratory diseases One inhale it then then ingestion also the ingestion of sputum can be there or the ingestion uh, the typhoid the food diseases from the food if we ingest the bacteria like salmonella So I think a good oral hygiene is very important, sir. So does it mean that uh, brushing twice in 24 hours is better than brushing once? Yes, sir. Brushing the teeth twice after meals and before uh, sleeping also. So it is very good. Sleeping. Yes, so three times. The so second would be before sleeping. Okay. Yes, sir. So tell me, uh, we have only 1.16 million doctors, out of which only 80 percent work. Others are, you know, administrative. Now it comes to 0.68 doctor per thousand population. Yes, sir. And rural India, it is only 0.1. Yes, sir. So uh, how do we take care of the rural India? Sir, one innovative step would be sir encouraging the doctors uh, to work. Oh. Sir, by incentivizing that would be the first. Give them more money. Sir, incentivizing monetary as well the with better infrastructure. and also they can be motivated by rewarding on the social media the doctors are already working in rural sector by rewarding them i think the others would also get encouraged that we shall also work in rural areas and with better infrastructure i think the doctors can work as i say i am sure governments must have tried all this we all can but even then it is not uh, we have only point 1 for 1000 population in so rural areas the rural infrastructure is has to be improved and sir we can also involve the ayush courses uh, the traditional medicine okay. yes sir uh, uh, how does ayush help the rural area you mean the rural area should be treated as a second hand i mean second grade area where let the ayush uh, take care no sir we but uh, say that no sir after the bridge course they can provide basic primary health care because rural people uh, are strong enough and i think they require the basic primary health care Uh, and then after that, uh, if they require more, they can come to the secondary and tertiary centers. After the PHC and sub center, they can come to the district hospital as well. They can come to. So the district hospital as well, if the requirement is more. But I think the PHCs has to be strengthened. The primary health centers and the sub center they have to be strengthened so that they get the basic primary health care at least. No, I'm saying that most governments would have tried this, isn't it? It's not a new area. PHCs and CHCs are being constructed for more than 50 years now, 60 years. It was the initial. beginning but it has not helped so i think the infrastructure ayush is might help to some extent but out of ayush which one will be effective in uh, uh, rural areas of north say not india punjab ka hi bataiye out of ayush ayush are several so homeopathy and ayurveda are more uh, common ayurveda Okay. there are more common systems uh, okay. which people know yes sir the why then there is a um, variation in uh, andhra tamil nadu karnataka having 1.4 doctors per thousand population which is more than the national average yes, and uh, up bihar chhattisgarh and haryana having 4.1 to 2.26 why this variation so i think the infrastructure is better in the southern states so i think uh, the states like up bihar and punjab haryana they should also improve the infrastructure and if i say uh, that southern states uh, do better in almost all schemes am i justified to say so in all steam schemes uh, the it has to be seen but on many indicators they may be better but sir the north indian north indian states like punjab haryana 
we are also they are the good in agriculture in food security sir we also in culture culture agra is a wonderful state uh, with agriculture rice tobacco yes, okay what is the special position of kerala yes sir. in let us say um, health indicators so kerala has has a good literacy rate and their health infrastructure is good sir so health infrastructure health indicators so i'm not aware of the particular stats health one, that is education so i'm not aware of the particular stats of the state but okay. they are doing good but you are aware that they have a very pop, uh, stabilized population in kerala yes sir why so i believe uh, due to the good literacy rate the contraceptive measures and other the people are more aware there so i think uh, they they have achieved the 2.0 fertility rate it is only 1 tenth of the story so thank you very much thank you okay. sir right so mr gursimrat let me ask you a few more questions uh, there is the electoral bonds scheme yes sir introduced by the government for financing of political parties yes sir can you tell me something about this scheme yes sir so it was introduced by the government to finance the political parties uh, with the bonds of to one, from 1 uh, uh, lakh to 1 crore rupees sir by anonymous donations to the political parties but through bank channels of uh, state bank of india so when you say through bank channels how can it be anonymous so the identifier is not anony- uh, known in the public but yeah, the ba- not bank not known in the public but yes, it's known to the bank is yes, it not sir. it is known to the banks Yes, only sir. to the state bank of india yes sir it is just known to so them, don't sir. say anonymous yes sir because when you are making an online payment you see you have to buy a bond yes, sir. from the state bank of india correct yes sir and therefore when you buy it say for 10 lakhs you have to give all your details you have to yes, give sir. your pan you have to give your uh, din everything is to be given everything is available with the bank yes sir but there are apprehensions but of it is not open to yes it is not open to uh, it's it not publicized parties, yes right? sir now the uh, association for democratic reforms is opposed to this electoral bond scheme they say that there is there there should be transparency yes sir what is your view on this so in my understanding i think the transparency can be increased so that the trust can be increased uh, in the political so how do you increase the transparency do you do you suggest that every person or organization which makes a donation it should be published it should be published sir uh, publishing it can't be the solution but i think uh, rta if someone is apprehensive that it is being misused no, so i how think how can it be misused point is supposing you have donated 1 lakh or even 10000 yes sir to a political party do you want it to be publicized would you want that to to be known to your neighbor or everybody ki maine aapko vote diya hai not to akali dal sir there can be conf- there is confidentiality but i think if there is apprehension by a election say election commission so i think that can be uh, that can be checked that to they have done the supreme court has already ordered that all these details of uh, of the uh, of the electoral bonds purchase they should be sent in a sealed cover to the election commission that is an interim order but the matter is still pending in the supreme court yes. fair chaliye now uh, the armed forces special powers act yes sir it was in the news very recently yes sir why was it in the news sir uh, the central government reduced some of the disturbed areas in the northeast of yes, assam manipur nagaland so and, think, uh, and what was the reason which was given sir uh, the situation in some of the areas of districts in these northeast yeah, areas it was improved situation in, improved there have been a number of accords which have been signed yes, the militant groups insurgent groups have come out into yes, the sir. open so that is the reason for that now since you are aspiring for the police in the prakash singh case the supreme court had given certain guidelines on how a state dgp is to be selected yes sir can you tell me what it is Uh, sir the the three list of officers has to be sent to the uh, upsc and sir they send uh, finalize the list and the, the cm of the state then have to choose from that uh, list of three uh, finally selected by the upsc no the state sends the, uh, only three names the sta- state send a, a comprehensive panel. list yeah. to the pen uh, to the upsc upsc correct and the upsc on the basis of records and efficiency yeah, okay so, good yes. good okay so we end your mock interview yes sir. and i'll give you feedback
Okay. Now, uh, so, so far as what I told you on online also, that uh, your the questions will be coming from your DAF yes, and also from current affairs. Yes, sir. right. And from your DAF, as I mentioned last time, you know all these areas in which you have given here, Bhangra competition, basketball. Uh, uh, declamation, declamation, listening to Punjabi songs. Yes, sir. These are all areas in which you should be fully prepared yes, to answer questions. Yes, okay? And without any hesitation, you should be able to answer yes, on these issues. Current affairs is an area in which you must work hard. Yes, sir. Now, you have second interview. Current affairs is as you must improve your knowledge of what is happening around yes, on a daily basis. तो उसमें एक ही चीज है कि आप अखबार रोज पढ़िए और उसको कई बार देखिए पढ़िए समझिए एंड ट्राई टू कीप इट इन योर इनसाइड हियर सो दैट यू आर एबल टू रिस्पॉन्ड टू इट ड्यूरिंग दी इंटरव्यू ठीक है बाकी सब ठीक है आप आई यू गोइंग टू स्पोर्ट बियर्ड फॉर द इंटरव्यू और आई विल शेव इट बट आई विल कीप द मुस्तैद ठीक है नहीं दैट्स अप टू यू आई वाज जस्ट आस्किंग तो बाकी सब आपका ठीक है यू गॉट अ गुड पर्सनालिटी and for the police, uh, but the only thing is that the more information you have, the better you will be able to respond to it. Yes, sir. You have appeared online. Yes, sir. Now you are coming person to person. Yes, sir. So just share with us, uh, there was some problem with the communication there. No sir, it was fine, but I wanted to see uh, more things like practically entering and leaving ah, oh, the how to set. Or you wanted to interview us. <laughs> no, no, sir. <laughs> <laughs> अजय इसमें एक ऐसा है कि यूपीएससी में तो रूम इस स्मॉल ठीक है एंड पीपल आर सिटिंग आपके लेफ्ट साइड पे राइट साइड पे एंड तो इट्स वेरी क्लोज तो एक जनरल गाइडलाइन ये होनी चाहिए कि व्हेन यू एंटर यू विल एड्रेस ओनली दी चेयरमैन जो चेयरमैन होता है यू विल एड्रेस दी चेयरमैन इफ देर इज ए you yes, will address her also okay but you do not say good morning sir good morning sir good afternoon sir good sab ko nahi kehna on the chairperson and the lady member chairperson okay. sir and the lady member okay sir if she is there yes, nahi to you only address the chair yes and then you sit down yes, sir. only after the chairman tells you to sit take down. a seat yes sir when you go and ek cheez dhyan mein rakhiyega ki dekh lijiyega good afternoon hai ki good evening hai yes, sir. don't get confused yes sir theek hai so it's in for uh, forenoon session only ha aapka phone hai to good morning hai uh, afternoon hai afternoon session to you say good afternoon hai na ek cheez ye ho gayi aapki aur dusra ye hai ki left and right bilkul mat dekhiye jo member board ka aapse sawal puch raha hai you maintain eye contact with all the rest of the members will be judging you yes so you don't have to keep on looking this is not a private sector meeting yes, so it's a it's a very formal interview so that is the thing theek hai baaki sab aapka acha hai जितना नॉलेज आप एक्वायर कर लेंगे उतना अच्छा होगा आपको ठीक है चलिए विश यू ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट है थैंक यू गुड लक गुड लक डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू नेवर मिस एन अपडेट